inside my DNA. Kenny! I got loyalty, got loyalty inside my DNA. I got loyalty, got war and peace inside my DNA. I got loyalty, got war and peace inside my DNA. Shinra Tensei. I was born in this world. I was born in this world. I was born in this world. Hey guys, if you haven't already, give the video a like, subscribe to my channel. This is a what if series and I'll be doing more down the road. Plus Ultra. Hey guys, and welcome back to the second video of today is what if Naruto was Muzan's reincarnation? Let's get into the story. For this video, the like goal for this video will be 100 likes. If you want a part two to this video, it will be 100 likes. I know we can get there, and yeah, I, I just know we can get there. Anyway, good story. Been working on it for a while, so I just want to show you guys what I got. Anyway, let's get back. Let's get into the story. So everything what happened with Naruto being born and the Nine Tails being sealed inside of Naruto. Upon being sealed inside of Naruto, Naruto would undergo a genetic change. The Nine Tails in his body altered his DNA to a molecular level. So, sorry for that. Excuse me. Naruto's eyes would be this light pinkish reddish color and they would always have these slits in them. Naruto would have his claws not be well being able to extend and not extend but just Naruto would have claws like just basically say for example if he transformed he has his nine tail claws that part right there. So just Naruto features would not look normal his skin would be a little paler than usual. But Naruto would be getting glares. Now everyone is more mean to Naruto, thinking that he is more like a demon. Naruto's childhood is still shit, but Naruto basically ignores it, focusing on training, becoming stronger, and so on and so forth. Now Naruto does have Muzan's abilities. Some of Muzan's, well, some of Muzan's abilities, like being able to shape shift and stuff like that. But Naruto really doesn't use the shape shifting factor as he deems it not useful. Only if you're doing stealthful missions, to which Naruto really doesn't need to change the alterates of his character unless he's infiltrating another village under a disguise. That part. Anyway, so that wouldn't be really much useful to Naruto. So Naruto then comes up with his own unique blood demon art. And I'm not going to go into his blood demon art right now. It's going to be later developed throughout the story. So yeah, with that being said, let's get to this. So Naruto, as he's growing up... Naruto distances himself from many people, the only one he doesn't distance himself from is Sasuke because him and Sasuke has a close bond with each other, friendship-wise. Now, with that, Sasuke does listen and talk to Naruto in time from time and asks Naruto why does he look like that, and Naruto just simply says that he's a demon. And Naruto really thinks that he's a demon, like his abilities and everything just out of this world. And Naruto even shows Sasuke when he cuts off his own hand, Naruto regenerates his hand back like it was nothing vast and Sasuke seeing this would be impressed by this now upon from which Naruto was studying his abilities what can he do what can he not do Naruto did do some like heinous things not like saying to innocent people but to a criminal he scratched a criminal on his neck and everything and it turned into a demon by ingesting just a little small amount of his blood Naruto really wanted to test his idea to see if he can give the, another person the same abilities as him and to his surprise he could so Naruto just devises a plan to which he wants to basically make the Leaf Village stronger. Naruto, it, despite being so hated by the village, he really wants to basically be in charge and lead the village into a new direction. Lead the village into a peaceful direction and that's Naruto's goal. So Naruto also wants to make the villagers strong, but he wants to pick out device people like strong people and throughout his journey Naruto is going to find those strong people. Now. Keep in mind that Naruto at this point is strong right now. He rules and sees that Naruto is strong. And the shit that Naruto can do at the age of eight years old is incredible. Naruto folds a Jonin like it's nothing. With his incredible with his demon art, it's quite impossible for the Jonin to even get close to Naruto. Now, Naruto's blood demon art is time manipulation. Now, Naruto can stop and slow down time to a to a point to which Naruto can stop time for a certain amount of time and he can slow down time for however long he want, making it really impossible to like touch Naruto. Anyway, I chose that one because Muzan's blood demon art is very, very fucking boring. So, yeah, 
Also, Naruto can use his blood to create these basically sharp needles that it's basically a jutsu that Naruto created to make, create these sharp needles out of his blood to throw it at a person to poison them because Naruto's blood is poisonous. Poisonous to an extent. Anything. Anyway. So as Naruto is basically journeying around, he already has the ideas of people that he wants for his list. But Naruto just journeys around as eight years old and he's making his way throughout the leaf village. Now, a pawn from which Naruto does ask the, the third Hokage that he wants to explore and that he's strong enough to explore. And he tells the third Hokage that he has enough strength to fold a Joni. And the third Hokage would even go to fight. Well, he would ask Kakashi and Guy to fight Naruto. This is where they would go to the training field. Before the third Hokage even gives Naruto the permission to leave the village, an eight-year-old leaving the village to go on an S-rank mission to basically observe the world. Yeah, that's quite suspicious. Naruto really told the third Hokage that he really doesn't need to basically go into the academy or learn anything like that because he can basically teach himself jutsus and stuff like that and naruto is already at a smart enough level with a good enough intellect and battlefield strategies and a battlefield genius so naruto really at this point is quite kind of too much for them to handle but um yeah in a good way now with that they would go to the field and naruto would fight against gai sensei first now, Guy Sensei and Naruto would go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, with Naruto using his blood demon art. Now, Mike Guy would start to feel as if his body is slowing down, and Naruto would just let off like a whole bunch of consecutive strikes at Mike Guy, launching him back. Now, this is where Mike Guy would say, Yo, so your ability has something to do with time, huh? And Naruto would say, Yeah, I also have a second blood demon art too that I'm not gonna reveal yet. And Naruto's second blood demon art is called Black Blood. Now, Naruto would surround, like, basically tap the ground. He wouldn't reveal his blood demon art, his second blood demon art to Might Guy. To which Might Guy would rush in at Naruto and let off multiple strikes at Naruto, to which Naruto would dodge and evade. He's also using time to speed up his body, too, to basically make his strikes even more faster than they already is. To which Might Guy answers and transforms into the seventh gate. Now, the third Hokage is seeing naruto an eight-year-old kid push mike guy to this level this level right here he's using the seventh gate now this is where their battle is going on and on and mike guy is getting tired he's getting exhausted with naruto just standing there looking as calm as ever and he tells mike guy that you might want to stop i don't grow tired and i have a immense stamina so i can keep going for days and days and days your body well your human body is going to give out on you this is where Mike Guy would just power down as his body really did give out on him because he's using way too much energy. Well, using the seventh gate is basically taxing on the body anyways. So Mike Guy powers down and he tells that Naruto wins this match. Now, this is where Kakashi comes into the mix and with Kakashi genius strategy, he puts Naruto on the back foot, but not too much so to which Naruto can't handle. So Naruto and Kakashi is going back and forth to which Kakashi even pulls out the lightning blade and hits Naruto with a dangerous attack like that. He punctures Naruto through the stomach with the lightning blade because Kakashi got a little frustrated. And this is where the third Okage would yell out, Kakashi! And Naruto would say, it's fine. It's fine. I would be frustrated too. I mean, this guy is, you're, in, let me pause real quick. You're incredibly strong and you have some unique abilities, but your abilities doesn't hold candle to what I can do. Naruto would punt like Palm Kakashi directly in the face, sending him flying through dozens of trees, to which Naruto would just heal his stomach wound. And the third Hokage is looking at Naruto's innate abilities, and Naruto basically just says, maybe it's a genetic mutation, or maybe it's just something really wrong with me. Maybe I really am a demon, like people say. Now, Naruto's eyes would be glowing, and he would look back to see Kakashi just stumbling back at him, to which Kakashi lifted up his headband to reveal his Sharingan. Now, Naruto would see this, and he would say, so, you're going to use that against me? Hmm, then I guess I can even use this against you, too. Naruto would get into a stance, and he would use his second style, well, his second, well, de demon art, Black Blood. Now, Black Blood isn't what you think it's going to be. Naruto's black blood gives him an array of abilities, allowing him to use these tendrils of blood to hit Kakashi with, and also allowing him to basically send these slashes of blood at Kakashi. So yeah, Kakashi has a lot to deal with, seeming as if this, if this hits him, Kakashi, the blood is going to infect him to an amount to make Kakashi incapacitated, but it's not going to kill him. But it's dangerous nonetheless. Anyway, so as Naruto is using all those abilities like that, 
he basically sees that Kakashi is getting exhausted, breathing heavily, and his Sharingan did start to morph before Kakashi completely passed out. Now Naruto looks at the third Okage and he tells him, see, I can handle myself if I need to, and I won't hesitate to kill a person that threatens my life. I want to explore this world because I'm trying to put, a, put my own list, my own ranking system together. Your own ranking system? Yes. Lord Third, well, I'm going to call you Grandpa because you have always been there for me since I was a kid. You're still a kid, Naruto. Well, I got more sense than a grown person, so I don't see myself as a kid anymore. Yeah, probably when I was six years old, I've kind of seen myself that way. But with the level of perception and intellect that I have at right now, kind of don't see myself as being a kid anymore. Kind of see myself with the responsibility of the world on my shoulders. And for an eight-year-old, seeing that the world is full, filled with so much pain, regret, envy, lost, hatred. I want to be the one that brings peace into this world, uniting the, all the nations together. But I am extremely protective over my village. And the third Okage would say, but what is the idea about the ranking system? You don't, you don't like the ranking system that's going on now? No, I do like the ranking system that is going on now. It's just that I want to make my own ranking system. The 12 Kizuki, the 12 Kizuki of Konoha. And this is where the third Okage would raise an eyebrow to this. Now he would give Naruto permission to basically explore the world and go out and basically, yeah. So with that, Naruto would run into Zabuza and Haku. Now this is where Naruto would instantly Blitz behind Zabuza and chop his head off directly. Now, Haku looks at this, but the boy doesn't feel anything by it. He was never connected to the guy in the first place. Haku is emotionless, and he looks at Naruto, and he says, You killed him very easily. How did you do that? Naruto would say, I sense some incredible, incredible potential in you, and I want you to be Upper Moon too. And this is where Haku would look at Naruto and she would she would just smile. This is a girl this time. Yeah, Haku is a girl. So Haku would smile and I'm just playing. She's not a girl. He's a boy. But he wouldn't look like a girl. I got y'all ass. <laughs> he was, I bet some of y'all was, thank God, because he looked like a girl and everything. I'm happy he turned him into a girl. Nah, he's a dude. He's a dude, boy. He's going to look more like Doma. Put it that way. Anyway, so... Naruto would transform Haku into Upper Moon 2. And he would start to get used to his abilities and everything. And this is where Naruto would say, grow stronger. You work for me now. I won't show you any hatred or content or pain as if this guy was using you for a tool. He really didn't value your life. You were nothing but a pet to him. But you mean so much more to me. You're a friend and I'm going to treat you like a friend. For the first time in Haku's life, he smiled. He smiled and he was happy as his, the a color of his eyes would go to a rainbowish color. Now, Naruto would say, but you do have to eat. And humans are what you're going to have to eat. Naruto, Dahaku would say, very well. Now, I will bathe in the blood of my enemies. Now, Naruto would say, once you're doing your duties and you get stronger, come to the Leaf Village because your sole purpose, your mission is to protect the Leaf Village and me. Now, Haku would bow to her new master, and she would say, thank you. And Naruto would say, I'm not your master, I'm your friend. And Naruto would lift out his hand, and they both would shake hands. Now, Haku would go on his own journeys, learning the way of the world and stuff like that, and Naruto would just journey around. Now, upon that, Naruto would meet Yamato, and he would turn him into a demon, too. Now, Nar now Yamato would be Upper Moon 4. Now, because of that, because uh, how unique Yamato's abilities is with him creating wood style, Yamato's blood demon art would be emotion manifestation. Same as with Hata Hatengu. Um, sorry if I spoiled that for you guys. I'm not going to even explain him that much, but same as, same as like Kotengu. Now, Haku's blood demon art is cryogenic. Now... Apart from that, Naruto would journey back to the village, and this is where Naruto would start studying, and he's been away for a little minute, too. Naruto's been away, so when he got back, he learned of the Chiha massacre and everything that happened. So with that, Sasuke came up to Naruto crying his eyes out, saying that he wasn't strong enough to help. He wasn't strong enough to do this, and this is where Naruto would say, well, do you want to become a demon, Sasuke? Sasuke would look at Naruto and say, Be become a demon? 
become a demon, Sasuke. With the power of regeneration, you would never grow tired. You would never, ever feel like your abilities are lacking. You could become stronger. You could become faster. You could become better than what you are now. So how about it? Naruto cut his hand open and Sasuke would see the blood flowing out of Naruto's hand. All you have to do is ingest my blood. Sasuke would be grossed out by this, but Naruto is just holding a very serious face. He said, and he tells Sasuke, it's up to you. Do you want to become a demon or do you want to stay weak forever? Sasuke would hear this as his Sharingan flares and he just engulf, like engulfs the blood of Naruto. And Naruto ingests a huge amount of blood into Sasuke. And Sasuke has the kanji in his eyes for Upper Moon 1. Now, this is where things get a little different. As if the guy, I got to say, uh, issue a shout out to one of my subscribers in the comments. He gave me a very scripted, a uh, very scripted idea of who should be who in the Upper Moons. And I like his idea, so I'm using your ideas in a video. Shout out to you, man. I'm going to put you in my uh, community tab. You know who you are, but I forgot his name and everything. I'm so sorry about that. But I'm going to put you in my community tab, giving you a shout out. Thank you for this, man. Anyway, Sasuke's transformation to a demon would take three days. So did the same with Haku and same with Yamato. They all took three days to transform, seeing as if Naruto is giving them more blood than usual. So with that, Sasuke would have Upper Moon 1 in his eyes. And Sasuke's blood demon art would have to deal with lightning and thunder. The crashing of thunder and the electricity of lightning. So yes, Sasuke has two different blood demon arts, like thunder and lightning, using both of them to his abilities. And also being able to coat lightning in his sword and use lightning swift attacks. Not like it's a breathing style, but yeah. Now upon from that, we now go to Rock Lee. Now Rock Lee would look more like Akaza. He would have the pink shag. He would have, but his hair would be pink and shaggy. He would have the pinkish like eyebrows around, not eyebrows, but eyelashes around his eyes. And yeah, so he would basically be unique to Akaza. So Rock Lee would have the same life, uh, lifestyle as Akaza, noticing that his mother and sister were killed by some villagers. Uh, like villagers and Rock Lee went and killed each and every one of them. Now Naruto would approach Rock Lee because this is where he thought that like all those he killed 76 people and this was a neighboring village. Rock Lee wasn't even a leaf village. This was a neighboring village. So Rock now Naruto would journey over there because he heard the commotion, and this is where Rock Lee would just be like, They they brutally murdered my sister and, and mother. Please get out of my way. Now Naruto would like Rock Lee would just walk past Naruto and Naruto would grab his hand and Rock Lee would go to throw a punch at Naruto to which Naruto would just kick Rock Lee directly into a wall, crashing, sending him through the wall and Rock Lee on the ground. Now Rock Lee would cough up blood from the blunt force of this attack. This attack was so strong that it basically skewered his internal organs. And Rock Lee would just be coughing up blood. And this is where Naruto would just look at him. He's kneeling over Rock Lee and he says, You're very powerful. Become a demon, Rock Lee. And this is where he would say, How do you know my name? And he says, I can basically tell uh, by your genetic, your skin. It's, it's a weird trait of mine. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to kick you that hard. I just wanted to test out your abilities. I mean, you took down 76 people. I would have thought you'd been strong to take one kick. Naruto would laugh and start scratching the back of his head. And he would say, I probably, I probably went overboard with that kick, though. So Rock, Naruto would say, how about it? Become a demon. Master your martial arts to a good, unique level. And protect the leaf village in me. But also keep your humanity intact. Now Rock Lee would say, I lost my sister and mother, though. Naruto would say, well, avenge their death. Live for them and become stronger. These people deserve what they got coming for them because they did that to your people. Now, protect my people. Protect the Leaf Village. Protect your new home. You are Upper Moon 3. Now, Naruto would ingest his, well, basically stick his finger directly into Rock Lee's head and ingest all the blood into him turning him into upper moon three now that's what Nar well nice basically rock lee well lee would get all those tattoo marks just like akaza 
And his outfit would be more akin to Akasa, wearing pearl-like beads around his ankles, basically white pants, and uh, basically a cut-off shirt. Something similar to the same shirt, like a vest, something like that. Anyway, so yeah. And also his eyes would be blue with cracked veins in them, just like Akaza is. Now anyway, Naruto would then journey on to Sakura. Now Sakura had a rough childhood. Her parents abused her. What's name? Her mother was getting abused and her mother left her with her father. Now her father did not basically wrong things to Sakura, basically abusing her, sexually abusing her sometimes. Not saying that he would do just, he would just intentionally do things to hurt Sakura's will. He would do things to basically break Sakura down. Sorry if I'm, the audio is a little fucked up and everything. Doing this from phone. Anyway, so he would just be doing things to Sakura that just intentionally broke her will down. He was a nasty and cruel person because his life was miserable. And Sakura would not be in a village. This is a neighboring village far away from Konoha. To which Naruto would journey there one day because he just wanted to basically explore. Naruto likes the idea of exploring nature because it's comforting to him. And all of a sudden he sees this girl getting beat by her father and almost basically harassed. And Naruto would rush over there chopping the guy's head directly off. Now Sakura would see this and she would just smile and be happy that she's finally free from that monster. Naruto would say that, are you okay? And Sakura would say that her father was a piece of crap. He basically done things to her that was unforgivable and she's glad that he's dead. She stumps on his head, crushing his head severely. Sakura never hid her father, but she always hid her strength from her father. Now, this is where she would go back to the house and as if the attacks was nothing to her. Now, she would go back into the house and grab her sword and then journey back out and say, I, well, I just can't live here anymore. She would look back at Naruto with emotionless eyes and she would tell Naruto that, thank you for saving me. She would shed tears down her face as she's finally free from all that pain, all that hurt, all that resentment. Now, Naruto would look at her and Naruto would just be wearing his black kimono and everything just like that. It would be a black kimono and stuff like that. But it would be like a man's kimono, you know what I mean. Anyway, so Naruto would look at her and he would say that, I am so sorry for all the pain that you felt. Naruto would hug Sakura as she felt every emotion coming from the boy, friendly, positive, all these good emotions coming from him. She just started break down crying as if she's finally free from all the pain that she's felt for so many years. Now with that, Naruto would turn Sakura into Upper Moon 5. And Sakura would, like, she would have, her eyes would be like this uh, dark purplish color with cracks in them. And her kanji, the kanji eyes would be pink, symbolizing in her nature. Now, Sakura would take more to akin to cherry blossom breathing. Now, it's not like a breathing style. It's more of Sakura using her blood demon art of cherry blossoms. She creates these cherry blossom-like flowers and turns them into powerful weapon-like, like blades that she can throw at you. So basically it's somewhat akin to Simbo and Sakura from Bleach. Sakura can do something like that. But she also likes to coat the flowers in her blade and swings her blade at you to basically using it as an attack formation. Yeah, so with that, Sakura has become Upper Moon 5 with a tragic backstory. Now Upper Moon 6 is Neji and Hinata. Neji and Hinata is gonna be similar to Gyutro and Gyutro and Daki. Hinata was set on fire by some people because they felt that her eyes were weird. The Hyuga, the Hyuga clan wasn't in the Leaf Village. They really died off because people always thought they were weird. They had weird eyes. They would manifest their skills and everything. But Haku, I mean not Haku, Neji and Hinata were like the only ones left. And they weren't treated by their family pretty well. So it was only them. They only had each other. So Neji and Hinata would be treated badly. Now, Neji wouldn't have the same thing as Yutaro, but he would be treated the same way as Hinata would. He would have the same hairstyle as Yutaro, but he just the looks and everything. Yeah, he would still look just like Neji. The only thing that people hated was their weird eyes, how they just looked so hollow and ghost-like. So they would be picked on for their eyes and basically used as slaves and basically just mules and everything to do everybody's bidding. Now, one day, Neji would come home to see that Hinata was turned and, like, burnt alive. 
And this is where she, he, he would just scream out in agony and horror by this. And he would just curse the people that did this to his sister. Najee would say that he wants revenge. He wants revenge so much to the point he grabbed his sickle off the ground and cut the people down who did this to his sister. Najee would pick up Hinata and get, as she's still barely alive, he can feel a faint trace of her heartbeat. Now this is where Haku would come out of nowhere as it's snowing and she would look at Neji and Hinata. You poor creatures, what happened to you? And Neji would say, I, we were attacked. I, I, I hate this world. This is where, this is where, uh, well, Haku would look at them as he's eating people, but he's eating bad people. He has an arm and a leg as he's basically chewing. And he says, as he swallows, hmm, so become a demon. And Haku looks at Neji and Hinata. And this is where, well, Neji looks up and says, what? Become a demon and protect the leaf village and master Naruto. This way, no one will ever hurt you again. No one would ever come close to your power. You would have infinite stamina, the ability to regenerate fast. You would be uncomparable to the normal human being. Become a demon. And this is where Neji would say, yes, if it can save my sister, then yes. And Neji and Hinata would be turned into a demon by Haku. And this is where they would become Upper Moon Six. Now, upon from all that, basically the Upper Moons had their tragic backstory. So, yeah, that part right there. Now, we're going to go into the Lower Moons. Now, this is where I'm going to rush through the Lower Moons, too. So, the Lower Moon 1 is Kuronai. Due to her Genjutsu-like ability, her ability would be, her well, her Blood Demon art would be a Genjutsu-like world where she can trap an, oppo an opponent in an illusion that this illusion can hurt them for real. So, whatever's happening in this illusion, they feel the pain and scarring from that illusion. Eno, she has the ability to possess a person. Yeah, with her mind transfer Dutsu, that's just become stronger with her blood demon. Enhanced with her blood demon art, she has the ability to possess a person without even using her mind transfer Jutsu. She basically can put rush at a person, put her hand on their head, and control them. Basically learning the knowledge all about the person and everything that they've done. So she has an intellect level. Not that strong, but yeah. Kiba Inazuka, Kiba Inazuka has more of a beast-like performance, like... Akamaru and him were turned into demons, but Akamaru gained like more of a demonic dog-like performance. Like say for example, he had the dog, Akamaru has now three eyes and it's more of a demonic like dog. Like, okay, but they hide their presence from the demon. They don't show like the demon forms and everything. So yeah, Kiba, Kiba's most like Fang over Fang is gonna get, become more destructive with his blood demon art. Cause as he's using Fang over Fang, he creates this viraling vortex that shurikens will shuriken just come shooting out anyway shikamaru his intellect his blood demon heart enhances his intellect so he's just incredibly smart chochi i really didn't go into his uh, blood demon art that much but with the story if you guys can tell me something if you guys got any idea for kiba ten ten Shikamaru or Chobi's Blood Demon Art. This is Lower Moon 3, 4, 5, and 6. Because Lower Moon 1 and 2, I basically got out. Now, anyway, that was just the introduction to all what Naruto has been doing. Now, Naruto has established his 12 Kizuki. And now this is where they graduate from the exam. Now, Naruto is on the roof and with Kakashi and Sakura and Sasuke. Now Sasuke Diff has different goals. He tells him that he wants to destroy a certain someone and prove that he can be of use to his master. And this is where Naruto just smiles and says, stop calling me master. Sakura says the same thing, that she wants to become a strong Konoichi and serve the village well and also protect her master. And Naruto says, will you two stop calling me master? They look dumbfounded by this. Like making a stu like a stupid face by this. You know how in the entertainment way they make them look dumbfounded face? Oh, yeah, like that. And Naruto just says, you're friends. You're not slaves. I don't control you or own you. And they would say, yeah. 
Now, upon from this, they would go their separate ways with, with Sakura going to train more in her sword styles and learn her blood demon art, learn what it can do. Now, most of them know their blood demon art because they're getting very comfortable with it. Now, upon from which Naruto would basically go home and starts to meditate. And this is where Naruto would appear into the third Hokage's office. And he would say that the 12 Kizuki of Konoha has been established. He would summon every last one of them there to the third Hokage's office. And he would tell them that these 12 individuals I have made strong and they will protect the leaf village. If anything needs to happen, you can call on any one of these three. Now, the Naruto would give the third Hokage upper moon five and upper moon two basically contact information seeming as if those two he wants to basically stay close to the village and he also gives neji and hinata well their own specific mission he tells them to go to this like go to this village that's been terrorizing people and causing people damage and everything and to use their abilities now hinata's hair would be long and white like Daki's, and she would have more of a hyuga style fighting style but she would use her belt too to her abilities and neji would have his sickles telling that his sickles are coated in a poisonous blood now anyway with the 12 kizuki being established naruto would look at them and tell them that you have your missions and your missions are to just better the world and make it more peaceful if you see hatred annihilate it if you see people trying to post hatred for the wrong reasons annihilate them and with that that is the end for part one of what if Naruto was Muzan's reincarnation. So you guys, let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know in the comments how I did and let me know what you would want to see in part two. So just like I said, Sasuke's power is something with lightning and thunder. I came up with that idea my, like myself. So it has to be something like that. Since Sasuke's abilities is more keen to lightning, I gave him that ability. Anyway. Without any further ado, you guys have a good day, a good night, and plus ultra good night, guys.